Hi everyone, my name is Lexis and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So first and foremost, I want to wish you all a very happy Halloween because I am going to be uploading this video on Halloween day. So let me know what you guys are doing to celebrate Halloween in the comments down below. Are you going to a haunted house? Are you going trick or treating? Are you dressing up? Going to a party? Yeah, just tell me what you're up to. And to get in the Halloween spirit, because fall and spooky season are like my favorite time of the year, I'm on my way to the grocery store right now because I am going to be eating Halloween themed food for 24 hours. The first YouTuber I saw do this trend was Saffron. Barker so shout out to her and it just looked like so much fun so I wanted to join in on it and if you enjoyed this video oh my goodness sorry guys I don't have a stand for my camera in the car but please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video in the future so basically what I mean by Halloween themed food is it has to fall under one or multiple of these three criteria. Number one, it has to be a Halloween shape of some kind. Number two, it could be in Halloween packaging. Or three, it has to be a fall flavor or Halloween flavor of some kind. So I will film more when I get to the grocery store. Bye for now. First thing I'm going to try and find is breakfast food. So I'm going to try and find like a Halloween themed cereal. I was just in the cereal section and they don't have any, but I did find like a Halloween breakfast section that they might have some cereal in. So I'm gonna go check over there. You guys, I'm so happy I found three different options. They have Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Boo Berry. And I think I'm going to get Boo Berry. So I think that lunch is going to be the hardest meal to shop for because we already have dinner planned out. I found this pumpkin spice bar. So I could get like this protein bar and then maybe also some like Halloween chips and then something else to go with it. So I'm also gonna pick these up. I hit the jackpot. Check out all of this candy. Oh my gosh, if you guys have a Winco near you, you need to pick up some of these chocolate eyeballs. Look forward to Halloween every year just to eat these. The peanut butter ones are my all time favorite, so I'm literally going to stock up on these. I'm gonna fill an entire bag with them so I have enough to last me a couple of months after Halloween. Perfect! Oh my god, these look so good, I'm so excited! I found some chips. I've never tried these before. They're Fright Bite tortilla chips, so I'll let you guys know how they taste. I picked up a couple other things too that I didn't film, but I can show you when we get back home. I didn't really want to because this grocery store is seriously so packed today, and it's kind of embarrassing to be vlogging in the middle of it, but you know, see what I mean? But I'm doing it for you guys, so please give this video a thumbs up right now if you haven't already. Last thing I'm picking up are these pumpkin English muffins because I think that I could have that with breakfast with my cereal. So I think I'm set for all my meals and it's time to check out. the grocery store and I thought I'd do a quick haul of everything that I picked up in case I forgot to film something or you didn't catch what it was. So I picked up these Fright Bite tortilla chips which are in the shapes of pumpkin, ghosts, and bats. So it's perfect for this video. And then I also found out that when I got home I already had some chips similar to these that are in the shape of ghosts. So if I end up not liking these I also have a backup. And then I picked up some Booberry cereal, which is so cute. I think that this is going to be delicious. And it even has some marshmallows in it. So it's probably gonna end up tasting something like Lucky Charms. Whoops. <laughs> and then I also picked up these pumpkin spice English muffins for breakfast. Pumpkin granola bars, which I can have for lunch. And then I got this, oh my God, it's heavy. <laughs> this pumpkin bread, which I'm not sure if I'll end up making because as you can see, I have plenty to choose from. But there, it's also just in, an in case. And then last, but certainly not least, I had to pick up some of my favorite candies for this time of year. My peanut butter chocolate eyeballs. And of course, as you saw, I got some caramel pumpkins for my mom because those are her favorites. Yes. <laughs> and then you'll see that I don't have anything here for dinner time. And that's because our family is ordering from Papa Murphy's because during the month of October, they make a really super cute jack-o'-lantern pizza. And I'm even having some family members come over. And so everyone's going to be enjoying a jack-o'-lantern pizza for, with me for dinner. So without further ado, let's make some breakfast. 
breakfast. All right, so I grabbed my blueberry cereal and of course I had to grab a Halloween bowl. And it's time to taste this, you guys. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. They're in the shape of ghosts. And then they have pink and purple and, is that white or yellow? Marshmallows, <laughs> that's really cute. Doesn't have much of a scent. Hopefully it has flavor though. <laughs> Gotta get a good spoonful that has a lot of marshmallows and also a lot of the ghosts. That looks pretty good. Wow. Oh my gosh, hold on. Let me have a few more bites and then I'll tell you my thoughts. It tastes like a mix of Captain Crunch, like the little bulbs in the Captain Crunch that are colorful, and then the marshmallows, of course, make it taste like Lucky Charms, too. Hey, Cook! Hey! <laughs> what do you think? It's so good? Alright, guys, so I'm just going to finish up this bowl of cereal here with Cookie, and then I will be back to make my English muffin. Alright, guys, so I just cut up my English muffin, and now I'm ready to eat it, but I wanted to put a little bit of flavoring on it because English muffins are rather dry, and I figured that I can't put peanut butter on it because that's not a fall-themed ingredient, and that's normally what I put on top of my English muffins. So instead, I'm going to be using this pumpkin butter from Trader Joe's. pumpkin English muffin and this is definitely my least favorite part of this breakfast it's a little bit too strong of a pumpkin flavor for me and the pumpkin butter is totally overpowering the pumpkin English muffin so I'm just maybe going to take a few more bites and then I will see you guys for lunchtime so I know at first I was on the fence about whether or not I was going to bake the pumpkin bread because I had so many other pumpkin things that I bought at the grocery store, but I decided why not? If I don't end up eating any today, I can always eat some later on this week. And I just took it out of the oven and I thought I'd show you because check how, how big it is. Oh my gosh. No wonder the mix was so heavy. This baked enough for like an entire army, but <laughs> I know my family will eat some of it too. So I'm just putting it on the wire to cool and then I'll catch up with you guys later family just pulled up here to the pumpkin patch and I ate my pumpkin spice bar on the way here and it was delicious and now we're going to go pick out some pumpkins to carve back at home. Mom, we're twinning. Look. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> back from the pumpkin patch and I figured I would put these Fright Bite chips on the table so our whole family can snack on them while we carve our pumpkins. Our completed pumpkins. My mom wants me to tell you guys kind of the backstory of what happened to hers. So originally we're gonna write the word boo on all of our pumpkins and my mom had one of the letter O's and her O's didn't turn out looking the best. So instead she just kind of cut circles around all the sides of the pumpkin and she doesn't really want me to show you because she doesn't like the way it turned out but honestly it's okay. All pumpkins I think are really cute in their own way. This one is my dad's pumpkin. His looks incredible. I think it's the best out of our entire families. And then here is my mom's pumpkin that I was talking to you about that has the O's on all sides. And then here's my brother's pumpkin. He did the biggest one and there's his face. And then here's my pumpkin. It's like a little face and then there's a, <laughs> there's a little wart on the pumpkin right there. Which one is your favorite pumpkin out of our families? Personally, I have to vote for my dad's. Say hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. 
Yeah. The yellow yeah. coat has caught a fish. That's all you've had? Yeah. Isn't that is cool? Fish. I see the orange, yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Is that what that was? A picture? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, Pumpkin. Okay. Here's the jack o' lantern pizza, and we're going to put it in the oven now. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yes. Papa, how's the pizza? Oh. Hot. <laughs> how's the pizza, Nana? Do you like it? Oh, really yummy. Yay! So I just came back in my room after saying goodbye to my grandparents. It was so nice having dinner with them and catching up. And of course, enjoying our great jack-o'-lantern pizza. I'm sorry I didn't film a lot of us eating it, but I just didn't want to be impolite and pick up the camera a lot at the dinner table. And after dinner, we also enjoyed some of those chocolate eyeballs I bought earlier. That brings me to the end of today's video. I hope that you guys like this challenge. I had so much fun doing it. If you guys would like to see more food challenges on my channel, let me know down below and let me know specifically which one I should do next. So before I end today's video, I of course have to give today's video shoutouts. So the first shoutout for today's video goes to at XOXXO underscore Mariah. The second shoutout for today's video goes to at Olivia underscore Pickering underscore XO, another XO in the username. And then the last shoutout for today's video goes to at Alvi dot Hussein or Hussan dot 7921. That's probably a good time to mention I'm very sorry if I pronounce your name or your username incorrectly, but if you want to be the shout out in one of my next YouTube videos, all you have to do is follow these four steps. Step one is to subscribe to my channel. Step two is to click the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video in the future. Step three is to follow my Instagram, it's the same as my YouTube, on point with Lexus. And then step four is to comment, done, I did it, something like that so I know that you guys really did it. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Halloween. I'll see you next week. Bye!